100 years later, the Negro is still languishing in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. Now, have you ever wondered what that passage meant from Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech? I did, and what I found was one of the biggest secrets that's not really a secret at all except to many African Americans is they are not descended from Africans. I know, I was shocked too, so much so that I asked Africans, and they agreed African Americans weren't Africans. If you don't believe me, Google Arnaldus Montanus America and see the people he saw in 1671. Read books like The Black American Handbook for Survival through the 21st Century by Raydine Amin-Ra, What Every African American Should Know by Carrie Davis, and Africans and Native Americans by Jack Forbes. <laughs> I just can't believe schools aren't teaching this stuff. What a Shalom. Kol halaymna. Yehawah. Bahashem. Yehawah shai. Bahashem rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yehawah. In the name of His Son. And our Lord and Savior. Yehawah shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work. In truth and sincerity risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. What was the nationality of Cornelius, the Roman centurion? So our nationality is not determined by where we migrate to or where we wind up in captivity at where have we been transferred the nationality is determined by the seed of our forefathers that's our nationality which goes back to the greek ethnos where we get the word ethnicity Let's show some pictures here <clears throat> one moment so no different from today where we call ourselves American soldiers. And I just did a simple Google search for so-called Puerto Rican soldiers. <coughs> so today, we would call these men American soldiers. No different from what was going on back in ancient Rome. You had Israelites joining the military, calling themselves you got it, Romans or Roman soldiers. That's really the lesson in a nutshell. No need to make this long. The elites know this. Look at this. They called, they called this man in the 1968 movie, Planet of the Apes. Look who was in charge. Cornelius. You can't make this stuff up. So they know that Second Address 6 verse 9 says, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. They actually named this ape Cornelius. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Esau, you are something else. You are something else. So they, they know this. It's just people that are real simple that are denying the truth of what the scriptures say. Let's go here. <clears throat> this is Cornelius' vision. The Israelites are given visions. And the secrets are revealed to the Lord's servants, the prophets, pursuant to Amos 3, verse 7. <clears throat> Acts 10, verse 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man. Let's look up that word devout. <clears throat> devout comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 2152, Eusebius, 
You say base. Devout. Pious. Godly. Already in your mind, you know he's an Israelite, but we'll keep going. Who else was devout? Let's go to Luke 2 and 25. We're going to go to verse 24. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. These men are Israelites, a devout man. So the Lord gave him a vision. See, let's jump down to verse 30. Verse 29. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen my salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled of those things which were spoken of him, and Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel and for a sign which shall be spoken against. So Simeon received the Holy Spirit and understood the purpose and the calling of the baby Yahweh Shai. He was given the gift of faith, the Holy Spirit. That's not given to any other nation, but Israel. <clears throat> See, when we read verse 30, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Devout men, Israelites. There's more. Let's go to Acts 2 and 5. The book of Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The gift of the Holy Spirit, no different from what Simeon had, given the vision that Shai would be the rise and fall of Israel. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Acts 2, verse 5. And there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Jews are called devout men. The Israelites. Acts 2 and 5. <clears throat> and there was dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under under heaven. So the Israelites are scattered into all nations. Back to Acts 10, verse 2. Back to 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared the Most High with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw in a vision, evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of the Lord coming into him and saying unto him, Cornelius, just like Simeon, in a vision. So the Israelites are given visions. The prophets are given visions, which are of the same stock of Abraham, 
Isaac, and Jacob. Verse 4. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, Lord? And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thine alms are come up for a memorial before the Most High. Let's look into these prayers. <coughs> the Lord hears the prayers of his elect. Let's go to Psalms 34, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. So the righteous, devout men, the Israelites, we start with the elect. See, let's jump down to verse 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saveth such as be of a contrite Spirit. Let's look at that word contrite. So he hears the prayers of his chosen or anointed, his elect. Contrite comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 1793. Dakar. Dakar. Contrite means lowly, meek, humble. Brokenhearted in meekness, so to speak. <clears throat> Let's go back. So here's the prayers of his people. Let's get another one here. Let me go down to verse 31. Let's go to verse 22. The book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 21. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent. Then Peter went down to the men which were sent unto him from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am he whom ye seek. What is the cause wherefore ye are come? And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man and one that feareth the Most High, and of good report among all the nations of Jews, was warned from God by a holy angel to send for thee into his house and to hear words of thee. That is a deep cut for anybody saying Cornelius is not an Israelite. Jews, devout men, like we read in Acts 2 and 5. Let's read that again. Wow. I almost got knocked out by that one. <clears throat> Acts 10, verse 22. And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a just man, and one that fear of God, and of good report, among all the nations of the Jews, was warned from the Most High by a holy angel to send for thee into his house and to hear words of thee, a just man. I think that's in Job 1. to Job 1. <clears throat> the book of Job. So the Israelites are known to fear the Lord, which starts with his elect. Job 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared the most high and eschewed evil. Let's look up perfect and upright. 
perfect. Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H8535. Tom. Tom. Notice plain is in there. Jacob was described as plain, which means upright, righteous, perfect, wholesome, holy, undefiled, upright, look at that, moral integrity, innocence, pure, complete. <coughs> Let's go back. Let's look up upright. Upright comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H 3477. Yashar. Yashar. See? He's an Israelite. See that? Righteous. Righteous. So we read in Psalms, the Lord hear the prayers of the righteous. Let's get one more in Acts. 10. Let's go to Acts 10, verse 30. And Cornelius said, four days ago, I was fasting unto this hour, and at the ninth hour I prayed in my house. And behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing, an angel, a vision, and said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard, and thine alms are had in remembrance of the sight of the Most High. So his prayer was heard. So he had to be an Israelite when you understand the scriptures. See, John 9, we're going to go to John 9, verse 31. Now we know that the Most High heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. The elect, the elect of the house of Israel. <laughs> that is who he is listening to right now. Let's go back to that. Acts 10. Let's go to verse 31. And said, Cornelius, thy prayer is heard. And thine arms are had in remembrance in the sight of the Most High. That's clear. Now let's go into this man's name, Cornelius. Cornelius, notice the root word corn, corn. Cornelius <clears throat> comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 2883, Carnelius. Carnelius. See, how many have seen a corn eucopia, which means fruitful? See, Cornelius of a horn. Let me pull this up. Where we get the cornucopia. Corn. Eucopia. Fruitful. See? Fruitful. This is an image that's associated with Ephraim. Ephraim, which means fruitful. Because we all come from seeds. All of us come from seeds. But why is Cornelius specifically named after corn or kernel, which is tied to fruitful, which is tied to Ephraim? I'm going to show you. See, 
Let's go to etymology online. Corn, grain, Old English corn, single seed of a cereal, plant, seeds of cereal, plants. So we all come from seeds, but it's specifically mentioned in the Bible because Cornelius more than likely is an Ephraimite. See, which we get the word, what, kernel, kernel, etymology online, edible substance in a nut, or the stone of a fruit, of a what? Of a fruit. Of a fruit. See? <coughs> Excuse me. Fruitful. Let's go into the origin or when Ephraim appears on the scene. I'm going to go to Genesis 41. The book of Genesis chapter 41, verse 50. And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came, which Asenath, the daughter of Potipharah, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh, for the Most High, said he, hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for the Most High, hath caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Say what? Has called me. Let's read it again. And the name of the second called he Ephraim, for the Most High have caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Fruitful. Let's look that up. Fruitful comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 6509. Para. Para. To be fruitful, to bring fruit, increased, to show fruitfulness, which is also tied to faith, productivity, production, growing, no different from Cornelius. See the cornucopia, corn goes back to kern or kernel, which goes back or is tied to fruitful, connected to Ephraim. And there's a light. No way around it. See? <clears throat> so these so-called Puerto Ricans are calling themselves Americans. Same thing in ancient Rome. Israelites serving in the Roman military, calling themselves Romans or Roman centurions. The global elite know this. They named an ape, Cornelius, in the 1968 movie, Planet of the Apes, which is really, in a nutshell, a reflection of that scripture, 2 Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh B'Hashem Yahweh Shai. B'Hashem Rekwah Kadash. Barakatham. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. And the Bad Babal. We got next, Lord willing. Shalom.